Good evening. It's the 11th of April 2019 and it's about quarter to nine in the evening. And I'm recording this from Bristol, as usual, in my office. Um, it, this is a, a, a follow-up from the 1066 chart in which I was really looking at the theme of leaks and leaking and linking that to Neptune and to do with scandal. In fact, my last words on that uh, video were there will be some scandal arising very soon or is immediately upon us. With Neptune opposing, uh, transiting Neptune, god of leaks, god of the sea, and I've expanded and amplified the symbolism of Neptune in previous talks, particularly about Marduk and Tiamat, and I looked at uh, Neptune square Saturn actually in the chart of Jordan Peterson and was, was, was talking a lot about that, so I won't repeat th that material about Neptune, but suffice it to say whenever you you get that uh, planet prominent in a chart, um, and it, its demands are not of the material world. Its pull is towards something ineffable, uh, towards collective trends, towards um, um, something greater than ourselves, in a spiritual sense, a kind of unity consciousness, but some, often in a, in a material or political sense, it may represent um, the, 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 some part of the person having to sacrifice an element of their ego desires. See, Neptune is not to do with ego desires. It's not to do with the personal ego itself, but uh, something on behalf of the collective seems to come through into a person. And um, I'm following this video, uh, my last video up, because I looked up after, I thought, well, who's the greatest leaker of all? And um, in fact, I, I turned to Julian Assange and um, last week I thought of doing a video about him because I felt something was uh, Im imminently going to occur. I did not make that video, but spoke about it a few times. And sure enough today, uh, 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 Julian Assange, Mr. Assange was um, arrested this morning following uh, the police going into the Ecuadorian embassy being allowed in there and dragging him out uh, with with some resistance and taking him off to arrest him. Now the legal elements about all this, I can't really speak of the legalities, but I can tell you certainly that there's uh, a lot of hypocrisy going on about the law and uh, a lot of hypocrisy I've heard on the news about this, that and the other, uh, especially since Julian Assange has gone out of his way, in fact, to over his over his life to expose so much of the truth of what's going on underneath what we usually call consensus reality and what has been known or coming to be known as fake news as um, Donald Trump um, coined the term. But what I wanted to say here was that uh, when I followed up the um, 1066 chart I was looking at the transit of Saturn to Neptune. And when I looked at uh, Julian Assange's chart, I found Neptune in Sagittarius, right on his ascendant, opposed to natal Saturn in Gemini. Now I'm going to do uh, more of a talk, I think, on the on his chart later to see if there's anything that we can we can do or say to support uh, his cause. I'm putting this video out just to alert people to that scandal that is now going on, somewhat uh, um, sort of preempted in a way by my last video. Seems to be something about leaking something about uh, trying to reveal the truth, trying to take away this veil of mystery, this Neptunian fog um, uh, of, of deception. Uh, often Neptune can lead to self-deception, but in the uh, political sphere, it is often, as I say, to do with scandals and cover-ups and spying and uh, things be, be, being deceived this uh, load of lies or, or fantasies or stories that are put down there, encounter stories that nobody really ever knows what's going on. It reminds me rather of the, um, 
that uh, great film in 1975 with Peter Finch called Network. It uh, is one of my favourite all-time movies um, where the network man, the the um, the anchor man, the newsman, uh, has a breakdown live on TV. Well, I shall refer you to to that movie uh, to to enjoy it yourselves. But it's a, it's essentially about a person that didn't want to read out any of the ball anymore. And so uh, he'd had enough and he has a live breakdown on TV and then has some kind of curious Uranian breakthrough where the, the truth is revealed to him and he starts uh, spouting that out on a uh, nightly television uh, show that he's been given called The Prophet of the Airwaves. A truly Uranian film giving voice to that uh, well-known epithet, um, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And then he gets the whole nation to shout it out of the window. It's funny, but at the same time, it has a, a, a great meaning. This was in 1975 about the power of television, about the power of news, about the, this, the, how uh, corporate entities have taken over uh, situations and then push out this kind of consensus reality that we're all supposed to swallow. Now, that's what Julian Assange has been about right from his younger days um, and uh, I'm going to as I say look at his chart in more detail in in later videos um, but his fate is somehow in the hands of people uh, that are against him but also for him uh, we have what what prompted me to think about this as I say was his natal Saturn Neptune which um, if Neptune gets its way um, offers him as a as a kind of sacrificial victim to the cause of truth in Sagittarius it is ascendant uh, obviously Sagittarius has a lot to do with the world of publishing he, all he is is a publisher publishing the truths they're going to try and inveil him in a in a kind of collusion or a um, uh, uh, a, a kind of corruption of this that and the other which are on the surface of it all when you uh, uh, seems uh, possible uh, he certainly got on a lot of people's nerves over these past years uh, and finally they seem to have um, uh, uh, well seem to have got him on something or another whether he'll eventually go to the States is uncertain, but if the powers that be have their way, they will certainly cut through a lot of the red tape, uh, usually that's put in in front of most of ordinary people. But he represents a threat, a threat of the Saturnian threat to bring the reality through the mists. But in order to do this, you have to have been subsur uh, you know, go, go, go uh, submersion your, of yourself. You had to move into this world of um, uh, uh, unclarity and confusion. Um, you know, he was the first person, for example, to uh, reveal something to do with Vault 7 which was about uh, various strange new uh, devices on the internet and computer and all this kind of stuff to do um, to do with spying perhaps through this webcam right even now. Um, uh, I did a little research on it uh, way back and one of the things I remember very well is the, um, the, the the CIA and NSA and who, who knows well uh, other agencies uh, have this circuitry I suppose this new uh, found programming system where they could listen to conversations through your television set if you, especially if you had a smart television set and this uh, grand surveillance of the of everyone um, secretly somehow kind of moving through the privacy of individuals um, somehow what I'm trying to say is that when an astrology chart shows clearly what is happening with the person um, even though it, it, it might not be for the um, the benefit of that person's pleasure in some way it's it's in line with the symbolism it's in line with a kind of providential force and with um, Pluto now opposed to Julian Assange's Mercury in the ninth house in Cancer and we, again we can see the ninth house is to do with publishing to do with media world promotion publications and all of that 
Um, the, with Pluto opposing that, as also the ninth house representing the judicial system, we have a feeling that finally um, th this Pluto wants to um, uh, um, bring out of Mercury all that it knows. Now, the great danger here is that in the future we may see closed courts. But at the moment, uh, Julian Assange's Pluto is in his 11th house, of course, natally, which means that he, too, has very powerful platonic friends. And there is no doubt in my mind that somewhere in the basement or somewhere secreted away, Julian Assange has many things to tell about many other people. And that's what they're afraid of. There's a bombshell here waiting to go off uh, for, for, um, uh, for a lot of people should, uh, because I'm, I'm, Julian Assange is no fool. Um, uh, he is a seeker after truth, a truth at a certain level. And for him, this is a, uh, a, his, his own devotion to a spiritual purpose of revealing the truth for a just civilization. I believe he means this, and he's dipped his toe in a, in a sea of uh, difficulty here, uh, pitted himself up against the large forces of life which are now coming down him like a ton of bricks. However, uh, we must watch out for this, I suppose, and, um, uh, and uh, if all of those of their belief in it, we must pray for him, or otherwise send him good vibes uh, from ourselves and hope that uh, his friends in high places can also prevent this this tide of um, corruption against him, the corrupt forces that are against him, and those which seek to silence him um, from one quarter or another. Um, in another video, I shall cover this in more detail, but I'd just like to read out the words here of uh, uh, another informer of bygone era, Whitaker Chambers. Who was instrumental in bringing down the um, uh, the communist in the system in the United States, uh, known as Alga Hiss, and he said this. And Whitaker Chambers used to be a communist, and he was he 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 changed his mind, and then he was then up on a, a kind of committee giving evidence against Alga Hiss um, uh, back there in the 1940s in the United States. But he had this to say about the informer. On that road of the informer, it is always night. I cannot ever inform against anyone without feeling with something die within me. I inform without pleasure because it is necessary. So my good feeling goes out to all who feel the same way as I uh, do. And uh, I hope that this in some way um, uh, has helped to at least add a little something to the many voices uh, in compliment and with uh, good feeling for the times ahead that Julian Assange will have to face. Thank you.